Welcome to the show that literally takes it to the streets. No studio, no budget, no problem. It's Flatbed Tonight with your host, Chris Hines. Hi and welcome to Flatbed Tonight on a 40 degree Celsius day in Ottawa. It is sweaty, it's stinky, but we're joined today by someone who smells sweet, by the way. Nehru Marfort Breckenridge. Did I do your name right? Yes, correct. Wow, because I was like really afraid I was going to screw that one up. So welcome to the show, by the way. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're from Montreal and you're visiting the national capital. I was born in Montreal and I lived here when I was a child. And I moved to the country during my teen years and I'm back since I graduated. So where in the country? Uh, Cornwall, Alexandria. Oh, the thriving metropolis of Cornwall. Kind yeah. Of. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you know what? I love Cornwall. It's a beautiful town. It yeah. is. It used to have the uh, the Eddy plant there, the paper mill, and it used to stink. You know that? You don't know. You don't know it now. But when I was young, it was the only place that a fart was considered an air freshener. That's the truth. Uh, so I understand you have some. You grew up in a big house with a lot of people in it. Is yes. that right? Ten brothers and sisters. Ten brothers and sisters. Yeah. So your parents did not have cable. Oh my god. <laughs> I, they did. I, they had cable and they still had ten kids. Yeah. Wow. They must have had premium channels then. Maybe oh. that was it. Oh my. <laughs> oh, don't be embarrassed. How do you think you got here? <laughs> Well, you were mail order. The stork brought you. That's yeah, special right. order too. I was a special. You one. were special order. Yeah. Oh, well, that's good. I'm glad. So, so tell me, what's life like? Uh, see, I grew up in a in a house with uh, with eight, so I know what craziness is. So, tell me, what life was crazy for you? It, it's really crazy. Whenever we eat, there's just so there's a lot of food and a lot of people, a lot of hands, uh, a lot of fighting and arguing, but a lot of like playing around and stuff. Um, Moving, moving out to live by myself is really different because it's like being by yourself and you're so used to having nine people around you all the time and it's, it's a different space. You know what? It absolutely is. And I, I know the same experience. You know what I ended up having to do? Uh, is I had roommates, right? You have roommates. That, that helps pay the bills. But I ended up having my siblings because as we all moved out and escaped the tyranny of home life, uh, we lived together. So we, we, and then we, we actually got an opportunity to continue the fighting and the dysfunction even while we left the home. Yeah, my sister, um, my sister is, uh, and my brother live together and so we all go over there sometimes and it's a, it's a big It's a argue. shit show. Yeah, it's, it's pretty yeah, much. I love, it. <laughs> love it, I love it. So let me ask you this, bathrooms. In, in the house that you were growing up, how many bathrooms did you have? Uh, the first house we lived in, we had one bathroom, and I was really young, so I didn't really mind. I kind of, you know, I didn't mind it, but... You just wet yourself and then everyone was fine. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Um, and the, we moved to a big house, so we had like five bathrooms in it. Oh. But there was still a lot of fighting over the bathrooms. We fought over every little thing that we could. Well, you know what, that's, I, I'm so glad because I thought for a while my family was screwed up. And now I know it's not just my family, it's your family screwed up too. Very. <laughs> so, so what do you want to be? You're here going to school, I assume. Uh, I'm not in school yet. I'm still trying to figure out what I want to focus on. I want to do a lot of things like interior designing, okay. baking and pastry arts. You can do all those things. <laughs> That's great. Now I can't pay, but you I know. mean. It's, we'll, we'll, do it like, we'll, we'll do it like the government does or like those big corporations. We'll put you on a, an internship and, you know, and then, then you get to do all this shit and don't get paid for it. That's the biggest scam in the world, isn't it? It is. So I, I, I just, for all you corporations and government departments that are doing that, I don't even know where I'm looking at right now. It's just bullshit. Pay people for Christ's sake. Uh, anyhow, so what's your big plan now? What's up this week? It's like crazy hot. Are you doing anything exciting? Are you jumping in the river or anything? Uh, this week I'm gonna be working, but... Uh, and where do you work? I work at Dollarama and Calendar Club in Canada. Good for you, two jobs, I like that. That's, you know what that is? That's get up and go, gumptions, I love it. All right, that's the end of the show. Uh, this was Nehru, uh, right? Yes, Nehru. Yeah. Nehru, sorry, Nehru. Uh, I'm Chris Haas, this was Flatbed Tonight. Thanks for watching.